Hi viewers, welcome back. This is the second video on Power Query in codes in search and find. So the previous video was how to copy the codes and how to paste it. And you can see, you have seen in the previous video, whenever I was writing a code in the custom column, whenever I used to write a code in the custom column, it automatically it got transferred into a conditional column. So if you have if you have seen that so if I go and get the call uh, this is my conditional column but this code was written in a custom but it already converted into a conditional column you can get that code from this side as I showed you it's just a recap you can copy the formula and if you see I can just show you And you copy this and now if you have a conditional column and a custom column now when i paste this so it's a custom column but once i paste this and when i try to open this it launches in the conditional column so i don't want to have this set of criteria i want the conditional col custom column to be shown in the custom column only i don't want to go again and again and go and you know search the formula in this advanced editor so i want to reframe that so how to do that is that is i'm going to show you in this video so therefore that you have to you know how to write the codes so this is the codes either you can type the code or i can copy the codes now so this is the code and there are two ways i can refrain from doing so how to watch the custom column in a custom column only this all video is all about so i'm going to try to copy this code and here i have segregated with the or when you have a m make an or or and functions then custom column can be made in a custom column you can see in a custom format so now let's go and check this so again i'm going to do add not a conditional i'm going to make a custom and this is going to be custom and i'm going to paste this i'm going to paste this so i have segregated with the or function you can type this also but i will segregate with or function okay previously when i was opening that it was used to go in the conditional column okay now let's see this when we added an or function now you can see it stays in the custom column only so this is the way you can make this into a make it stay in the custom column you should add an or or and function or resolve function or whatever function is this otherwise automatically it will go to the conditional column format so anyhow this is a simple one it has only two codes now you can add some more codes now this is for invoice and in invoice but this has a or and this is segregated this is the same codes which have been repeated if you want you can add some more codes also you can you can copy this control c and you can paste this the duplication you can remove this and you can add some more weightages like i n
and this one also has real and then you can do okay but still this remains in the same format but you should know how to write the codes so this is a power function in the code now there's some other way also for writing the codes so it's a bit more easy and you can make it in a more professional way so this is also a type of way but this is not a very professional way so if you want to have a very professional way also you can write the code so again i'm going to go to custom and this is custom 3 so i'm going to type the code if the p capital x dot contents dot the c capital so writing this formula is not so easy it should be very good in this open the parenthesis now you want to know the column so you should have this when you put the, it will search for the column so the column is description then i'll put a comma the word i want to search is invoice so it will be like i n u i t invoice i'll be closing the parenthesis then i'm going to type or so b you have to be very careful or cannot be in a caps lock if you make or in a caps lock it is going to give you an error small again text dot so instead of typing this whole thing what i will be doing is i will be copying this control c i will be pasting this control v and i will be copying this again i am copying the whole set control c Testing this again. I'll be doing this. And one, two, I'll be making this into a and V and this into F locks. So we'll be testing this and I'm going to make this. And then I'll be typing else one. And just aggregate this with the Now there is some error. I'm going to see this, and it should be tables. Now it should be tables, table. It should be then. Invoice description double quotes. Let us check the double quotes. Copy. 
contains invoice invoice I N V or picture contains in then payable and here should be else none. Now so writing the formula is uh, you have to be very careful. Any small mistake if you put an parenthesis also here also it is going to give an error. You have to search the error and this person. Now you can see no syntax errors have been detected. So this is one of the way to write a formula in a professional way. So now if I do OK. So you can see this column when I open it is in a custom column and this also when I open it is in a custom column and this formula is more professional. So I'm going to copy this formula. Now uh, this is empty. Now the numbers line number 17 is empty. It's showing null. Now I want to add one more criteria. Now I want to say this is new is written. Something is written is new. Then that should be also considered as payables. It has to return the value. So I can add it directly or what I'm going to do is I'll be closing this. And I'm going to paste this formula. Now I'm going to add this insert and I want to do control D. And I want to add one more criteria that is NEW. So NEW. Now this is Now this is you can see this is non-payable. So I want to see if there is some something called NEW new. Or I can type news, then it should be considered as payable. So I'll be making this into news. For right now, this is empty. So I'll be copying this formula. This formula looks more professional than this formula. So I'll be copying this formula, going to tables. And instead of, uh, I can copy and I can edit from here also. From the advanced editor, I can, I can add from here also. But the easy one is the, section from here. Now I'm going to totally remove this formula and I'm going to paste over that. So you can see news has been added. So the item number 17 was here. Now just let me let me check that first. So it is showing null. The item number 17 is showing null in all the because this is not this is not returning the value as payable. So simply what I will be doing is I'll be extracting and I'll be over pasting that on that, overwriting that same thing and doing OK. So the item number 17, now you can see it has been written news and now it is considering as payable. So only this condition 3 is having that formula has been added. Now in the same way, you can copy and keep on adding number of criteria and you can build in such a way so these are two ways two to three ways i have shown you this is a more professional way but if you are not good in writing codes you can just go to the conditional format and you can keep on adding certain criteria but uh, it is difficult the difficult issue is that you should be able to you should be able to you know and segregate and and or functions this is not going to be helpful so if you're writing, writing codes and all, then that function is more, this function is more useful. And you can see how it has been made in a professional way. So 
I hope these codes make your life easy. Keep on copying the codes and don't worry about again and again adding. So once you're familiar with typing the codes, then you can go to the next levels. I hope you find this video useful and uh, I would like to uh, request you to share this video with many people and please subscribe to my channel, give your comments and uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.